Who is the Sayyid of Shahada? Look in the tradition and see. It says that when Imam Hussein, right, was coming into this world, six months, after six months he came into this world, it says that birth and carrying Hussein was very painful for Zahra. She felt a lot of pain. And you see in the tradition, you understand why. She used to cry at night time. Somebody asked, they said, why don't you cry at night time for? She says, what can I do? At night time, this child converses to me. And when he converses to me, he says, Ya Ummi, Ana Gharib. Says, my mother, I'm Gharib, I feel lonely. I feel as if I have no one. I feel no one recognize me. Says, Ana Mazloom. Says, I'm oppressed. Ana Wahid. I'm alone. Ana Adshan. I'm thirsty. Says, this child talks to me. And he tells me that he's thirsty. And he tells me that he's oppressed. And he tells me there's no one there for him. You know what the tradition says? She goes crying to her father. She says, Father, tell me, why does my child do this? Father, heavy hearted, replies, says, Jibreel just came to me. And he told me, your son will be massacred on the plains of Karbala. You know what she says? She says, then Father, I don't want my son to come into this world if this is going to happen. He says, but no, Zahra, remember, through the blood of your son, he will give life to this nation. He will revive this nation. His blood will be so powerful that revolutions will be formed on this blood. And go and see. Don't you see revolutions forming on this blood? Don't you see that when our brothers and when our communities are in pain, the minute the word of Hussein comes in, you find that we stand up again. That's that power. But it doesn't stop there. 